This is my first temporal storm in 1.20. Wow. I don't know if this drifter truck will still work. Well, I've seen Dave. Can you just see Dave's head going past the window? Hello, Dave. It's nice to see you, my old friend. Well, that was interesting. I would normally expect three waves of drifters and not one single drifter or anything else fell into this trap. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. And they are all around. What have I been left with? Right. I expect the place is full of them now. Ooh. Ooh. Where are you? Dang it, I've died. No, no not you, not you. Pack a punch. Where are you? Right, this is the one I want. Oh, yes. Oh, he's given me some Jonas assembly as well. Excellent. Temporal gear, rusty gears, and a Jonas part plus a bit of flax, I think. And what about you, mate? Flax. Okay. Good. Any more? Any more? Then I don't get ambushed. Well. Let's have a look downstairs in case there's any lurking. Looks clear outside, okay. Goodness. So that drifter trap's not working. I want to know why. And I want to know why I can't find some more TLs, because I'm desperately short of them. I was, as I said, in the middle of harvesting my crops when all that happened. Okay, let's unload this and then I will come back to you. One of the things that's going to change very fundamentally in 1.20 is clay. And it's going to be a very, very interesting change and it's going to have quite an effect on how we play the game in the early stages. First of all, this is the traditional blue clay and I'm just going to collect some of this. Up till now blue clay has been our main go-to clay. It's the one that most of us have tended to use for all our pots and pans and things like that. Obviously at a pinch if you have enough you can use fire clay but we've all saved fire clay basically for um, when we wanted to make bloomeries and they have been the best bloomeries. I do need, I suspect I need quite a bit of this now to have a look at these changes. So now where I'm digging blue clay is generated in 1.19 so I've got a nice large deposit of this almost next to my house over there which has been a blessing. Yeah, it's a huge deposit, can you see? So there's a lot that I can gather from here as I need it. But one of the things that is being said is that blue clay will no longer
be so prevalent. There's going to be a lot of changes in that the red clay will be the most prevalent clay, the most common clay. Let's have a look through here. Now, does this place on the ground? I have taken up some of my floor to show you these differences. No, not in that way. Right, what I intend to do is I'm going to try out planters in each clay. Now, I've already found red clay, and this is fired red clay bricks. These are raw red clay bricks. These are fired red clay. I am going to make a planter out of, that's the planter, isn't it? Yeah, out of this one. Gosh, there we go, uh, the blue clay. And then I'm going to make a planter out of the red clay. And I want to see if it differs in the look of the raw clay or if it differs in the final product. I suspect it's not going to. I'm sorry, my husband is coughing in the background. And th there's, there's absolutely nothing I can do. He's in a different room. There are thick walls and doors between us. Uh, but he still has this terrible cough. So we will just ignore it. Pretend one of the drifters has a cough. Right, let's get these. I've chosen planters for two reasons. One is they're big enough to show any changes easily. Two, they are easy to make. And three, I want a lot of planters for this world. So they're a very good thing to experiment on. Right, that is the raw planter. And we will bake that. Let's just file our clay away in here for the time being. Right, now I'm going to go to our new area and get some of the new red clay. Have I got much on this? Yes, I have. Just checking, just checking. So this is my teleporter to the new area. And I have placed it so that I am very, very close to a red clay deposit. Can you hear the insects? Fabulous. And for any of you that don't know red, what red clay looks like, this is red clay. Isn't that fabulous? Right, let's have another look at that. Right, so I'm going to take up this red clay. It's totally different. When they said red clay, I thought it would be a sort of umber colour, but in fact it's this really attractive colour. I actually wish that we could... Um, yeah, I wish that we could make planters in that colour. Alas, no. That's given us 32... They come in quite big deposits. Listen. Oh, look, there he is. Sitting on the stem, singing his heart out. There's another one. The I am loving the insects. I think you can tell how much I'm loving the insects. And the butterflies. Concentrate, girl. Try and, try and think about the red clay. Which I happen to find is a very attractive colour. find it a little unreal actually. There we go. Yeah, a bit more.
great. Yeah, that should be enough. And if it's not, we know where to come back to. By the way, I have put a suggestion in the suggestions box for the devs that green bamboo should drop green bamboo so that we get green bamboo fences and gates. So if you like that idea, go and upload it. <laughs> it's not as complex as some of the uh, suggestions that are made. Right, let's go back through the insects. Oh, hello. Oh, really? <laughs> right. Okay, here we are. With the water boatman. I can't get over the insects. So good. Okay, now we'll go and make a planter out of this red clay and see if it looks swole. any different. Let's go and have a look. I've changed my floor. Right, so there's the planter. It looks, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could fire it this colour? That would be fantastic. But we're going to have to fire it to see what it does look like. Yep, here we go. Well, so far, so very different. I'm going to fire these in pit kilns, by the way. I know that we have a new kiln, but what I want to do is to fire these basic planters in pit kilns. Is there a difference? I don't think so. Can I get those in? Ah, I'm just a bit short. Let's move these out. Okay. Pop our spare windows in there. Now, so we have blue clay and red clay. The one that's going to be different is fire clay. And it's not going to spawn the same at all. I've looked up on the notes and it says that the 1.20 update adds red clay deposits, yes, and item. I don't know what and item means. Could be anything. But listen, it says red clay is now the most common clay deposit. Blue clay no longer spawns at higher altitudes. So we've got to look low down for blue clay. So if you happen to have built your base or spawned on one of these very high plains, you're going to need to go down to find blue clay. Now, this is the chilling one. Far clay is now only found below coal deposits. So that must mean under deep deposits. It doesn't say whether it's black coal or brown coal, so it's worth checking under our coal deposits for that. Or crafted from blue clay and flint. Interesting. So, let's have a look at how we can craft far clay. I'm hoping that the recipe is here. Far clay. That's unhelpful. Uh, let's try again. Help. Clay. Right. Clay vessel. Claystone sand. Claystone. Here we are. Blue clay. It doesn't show red clay yet. Far clay. 
can be formed into basic yes pottery yeah but how do you here we go look at this created by crafting looks red blue and powdered calcinated flint wonderful powdered flint when ground turns into one so you grind it hang on flint chunks okay where have I got flint let's, let's take a, a whole stack is the wind blowing this is where you find the winds not blowing and it looks as if you have to grind it Let's just have a look. Let me just see if I can grind. Oh, hang on. Smelts. Oh. Do we smelt it? And if so, do we smelt it in a crucible? Wow, I'm on a journey of discovery here. All right, uh, let's take those out. Can we smelt flint? Yes, we can. Oh, you don't need a crucible. I just put it straight in. Oh wow, smelting temperature 1050, and that's 1100. Oop. All right. Um, let's escape. This reminds me of, of lime when you have to burn lime. All right, let's have a look at that. Calcinated flint chunks. Wow, and then I presume that you grind those. Uh, let's have a look. Let me put the, let's put our crucible down. Let's have just another look on help. So start of clay. There we go. It was right at the bottom. Far clay, that's it. Yeah, powdered. So I think you powder it by grinding it. Right. Okay. My, my. Oh, look, I've never seen flint go this colour before. That's fantastic. I have to say that when you have a new update, this voyage of discovery is very interesting. And it's one thing other people telling you how to do it. But when you do it yourself, it really brings it home to you how you do it and what you need to do. So let's see if we can get these calcinated flint chunks. And then I'm wondering from the description whether we have to have half red clay, half blue clay, or whether we can actually just do it with one coloured clay. We'll have to have a look at that. Right, this is going quite nicely. While that's going, let me feed myself. turns into one. Can I touch that without tongs? I can. Okay. Now let's check whether we can grind this. Yes. That's 
powdered borax. <laughs> I've been powdering other things. Powdered borax. And there's our powdered flint. Okay. And how much will that make? Let's just check on our clay again. Uh, come down to red clay. Here, far clay, not red clay. And if we look at this, ah, one of these surrounded by clay, and it does look as if you have to have half and half, gives you eight far clay. That's two far clay bricks. Wow. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of this flint. And it looks like it's one per. My word. Let's just do that amount. Whatever amount that is. And let's take a couple more of these. Oh, they're powdered calcinated flint chunks. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's pop this up here. And this is going to be a slow process, guys. This is going to be a sort of put it on to burn and go and do something else. Harvest your crops or anything else. Yeah, this reminds me of burning lime very, very much. Okay. Powdered borax aside. Okay, well, while this burns up, to wherever it will go. Let's go and have a look at how we make far clay. And I'm not going to have enough to do what I want to do with this. Let's see about making it first. Okay. Can I make it powdered calcinated flint? Yes, I can. So it will make with all of that, or all of that, 16. Wow. Oh my word. Goodness me. At least it makes eight per, which is a plus. So it's basically one for one with the amount of clay you put in is fine so you put eight clay around but the flint now the other thing is we're going to have to look for flint and I understand that the amount of flint that generates is going to be increased so where are you going to come out mate there or there Somewhere else? Yeah, inevitably. Okay, right. Let's make another lot of fire clay. Uh, let's do it with red clay. Oh, we've got red clay there. Okay. Right. Powdered calcinated flint. Thirty-two. Right. I don't think that's enough. Forty. Um. Does it look the same? It does. Yeah, and remember, you need a huge amount to do this. 
fire clay shingles we can still do those and a planter I wish it told you how many you need and it doesn't unfortunately um, do I want to do a, a plant pot uh, just to check I do want to check I don't have enough for a planter just under that's flower pot that's fine and you can see the different colour I mean this may seem a waste but it's not because we're just checking whether these fire to the same colours which is quite a key thing That looks a different colour. Right. Let's pick that up. Uh, let's put our clays back in here. Good heavens. Um, yep. They look exactly the same. Yes, and they even stack the same. I suspect they are going to look exactly the same when they're fired. I will come back to you. Let me pop these in my pit kilns. I'm going to fire them in pit kilns this time through. I'm hoping everything still fires in pit kilns. There's no reason it shouldn't. There are bigger kilns on their way. Gosh, get this right, please. But I still want to file them and see if they look the same. I'll come back to you when I've done that. I've just tried to relabel this chest and it totally crashed. So I've moved my clay and my flint in there, but I think I will move all my other flint into this chest but I'm not going to relabel it. <laughs> not if it causes a game crash. Okay. Wow. I am just checking whether this plant, feather milfoil, can be planted on land. No. Requires a full block of water. That answers that question. Good thing to try, though. Yeah, and these are still the same. These reeds don't seem to exist anymore. They are called seaweed, though. And I don't think that this is seawater. Ten litres of water, no. I think if it was seawater, it would say salt water. Excellent. I think my pit kilns have finished. Looks like it. And it looks to me as if these are normal planters. Let's go and have a look at them. Yep. Absolutely identical. There is no difference. What a shame. I have just uploaded the pre-5 version. I was on pre-4 and the recipe for clay still looks the same. It says where to find, and this is fire clay. So this is the recipe for fire clay. Fire clay is found naturally in areas of bauxite, sand or gravel in small batches at the surface and underlying black and anthracite coal deposits in large patches underground. It can also be crafted by combining red or blue clay with powdered flint. Now black and anthracite coal are deep coals. 
So basically, I think early in the game, um, unless you're exceptionally lucky with the deep cave or something like that, we are likely to have to make most of our far clay. This change in Farclay is going to make the early part of the game, in fact the whole game, quite different in that it looks as if our ease of finding Farclay is going to be taken away. We will only find it if we go deep under Black Hole or Anthracite. And therefore, I think most of us will end up making our bloomeries uh, from normal red clay, blue clay and flint, or rather burnt and ground flint. Now, the bloomery behind me is the simplest of the broom bloomeries. It's made from 12 far clay bricks, eight for the base, four far clay bricks for the top. But each far clay brick is four far clay. So that's 48. So to make 48 far clay to burn into 12 bricks, <laughs> following the maths here, we will need 48 blue or red clay, not a problem, 48 flint, and 48 brown coal. To burn the flint. Plus of course you've got to have a quern up and running to grind it. Which I think frankly by the time we get to this most people would have anyway. So it's suddenly a lot more uh, resource heavy when you have 48 flint, 48 brown coal that have to be mined. Uh, and the time to mine it, you have to find it, and you have to burn it. There's a lot of loose flint on the surface, thank goodness, but there's not a lot of brown coal. So I think that we're going to have to look quite carefully at this. And suddenly the items that we use, these bloomeries to smelt, for example, we smelt quartz into glass, iron into iron bloom, meteoric iron into iron ingots. They are all going to be a lot more time consuming and a lot more expensive. It's perfectly doable. Once we get used to it, it's perfectly doable. But I suspect that the days of everybody burning all their um, iron into one big pile and you know making thousands of panes of glass just because bloomers are essentially at the moment quite cheap. Uh, is probably gone. Um, so it's something to be thought about for 1.20. I don't think it's a problem issue. It just makes the early stages of the game that little bit more protracted um, until one gets used to it. I suspect that in our search for fire clay, we'll find all sorts of interesting things down below ground. Anyway, <laughs> that was my preliminary look at clay in 1.20. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching me figure it all out. If you did, please leave a like or consider subscribing to me. Goodbye my friends.